Good evening and welcome to our home. My name is Movses Bogosian and this is my family, Varti, Anush, Edvard and Kara. Today we will be performing a concert of music for you. Um, we've been often playing as a family and this particular occasion is special for us because it is in commemoration of a, a tragedy that Armenian nation uh, experienced in 1915, the first genocide of the 20th century at the hand of Ottoman Empire. By performing this concert, we would also like to raise awareness of a few causes that are dear to our hearts, and you will be hearing about it later during the program. The Armenian genocide is a painful uh, time in history for my nation, but it's for even personally for our families, uh, both of them, my wife's and my family are survivors of genocide. My paternal, uh, maternal grandfather was the only one who survived from his family, saved by a Turkish farmer, actually. And Varti's grandmother was the only survivor from her family. So in the time of that, of course, we mourn and we remember memories of the innocent victims. But we also want to celebrate the resurgence and perseverance of Armenian culture and Armenian nation by performing music and some of the music that you will hear today will be also music uh, newly written for this occasion by three wonderful composers who contributed to this program. But we would like to start by playing for you music of the great Armenian composer Komitas who himself was a victim of Armenian genocide. Hope you will enjoy our concert.
Dear compatriots and friends, this year we commemorate the 105th anniversary of the Armenian Genocide, a crime committed against our nation, but it's also a crime against the entire humanity. The family of prominent musicians, Bogosian Manvelian family, will be performing a live streamed charity concert on this very occasion. I have the privilege of knowing this family, husband and wife and children, whose deeds are marked with very many accomplishments. Professor Movses Bogosian is the director of Armenian music program at UCLA. And I would say he is one of important Armenian cultural diplomacy torchbearers. Varti Manvelian is Los Angeles Philharmonic violinist highly commending their effort. I would like to mention that during the time of pandemic, this is a real opportunity for all of us through the effort of this wonderful family to raise our voices for the recognition of the Armenian genocide, for commemoration of the genocide. And we say, We'll never forget the justice will prevail. We're happy to play for you music that we love, not only previously written pieces by Komitas Bach and Mozart, 
but also to share for the first time works by three composers, which were written specially for this occasion for our family. The first of them is by dear friend and UCLA colleague Ian Krauss, whom, to whom we're so grateful for his gift. Ian truly loves Armenian music and culture with his heart and many of us remember the historic premiere of his uh, Armenian Requiem five years ago at Royce Hall. For the work that we're about to play for you, Ian was inspired by a rare recording of Hobarek, sung by the great Komitas. Hello, my friends. I hope that you are all safe and healthy in these difficult times. My name is Ian Krauss. For 30 years, I have been a professor of composition at UCLA, and for the past six years and foreseeable future, a proud supporter of the Armenian music program at UCLA. Five years ago, I was honored by the Lark Musical Society and my dear friend and collaborator, Vace Barsumian, to create and share with you the Armenian Requiem. It was composed for the centennial commemoration of the Armenian Genocide of 1915. Many of you were there at UCLA's Royce Hall for its first performance on April 23rd, 2015, with the combined forces of the Lark Musical Society's Chorus and Children's Choir, the UCLA Philharmonia, conducted by Neil Stolberg, the VEM String Quartet, sponsored by the UCLA Armenian Music Program and world-class vocal soloists from Lark and UCLA. The Armenian Requiem was largely inspired by my love for my Armenian friends, for God, and for the inspiration of Father Komitas, whose music and model served as my guides during its creation. Today, as we remember the genocide 105 years later, I am so privileged to share with you my version of Hof Arek, which was created expressly for my dear friends, the Pakosian family.
time, as performers, we can forget that there are two sides to music. There's what we do, which is we see music and we try and interpret it in the way that fits us the best. But there's also the side of actually writing the music. And a lot of classically trained musicians generally grow up playing music that's been written by people we wouldn't necessarily have the chance to meet. But every once in a while, we get to work with living composers and try and bring their pieces to life. Bridging the gap between performer and composer has been something that I've really loved to do over the past, and I'm especially lucky to be able to do it with my family because there really aren't too many pieces written for clarinet quintet. So this journey of collaborating with the composer, who is Aida Shirazi, and bringing her work to life and with our interpretation, it's been a process of give and take, and it's been really interesting to bring this new meaning to classical music. Hello, my name is Aida Shirazi. It's my honor to be part of the Armenian Genocide Commemoration Concert and to have written a short work titled Blood Moon for the Pogosian Manuelian family for this occasion. I'm grateful to Gabriela Lina Frank Creative Academy of Music for commissioning this piece. My work is inspired by the closing paragraph of the poem Prayer by the Armenian poet Siamanto who was a victim of the genocide himself. Here's the paragraph. And the dark night was deserted like the vast infinite. And with the lonely and bloody moon, like a myriad motionless marble statues, all the dead bodies of our earth arose to pray for one another. At the end of my work, I have quoted fragments of the Armenian folk song, Lucin Yelov, which means the moon has risen. So while listening to the piece, I hope you can find those brief moments that resemble subtle rays of light in a rather dark atmosphere. Last but not least, Gabriela Lina Frank Creative Academy has started a project called Gig Through COVID, which supports performers who have lost employment because of COVID-19. For this project, composers from the Creative Academy, including myself, are going to collaborate with those performers on short solo pieces to be premiered in a series of online concerts. If possible, please consider donating to this unique campaign. Thank you very much. Stay healthy, stay safe, and I hope you enjoy listening to Black Moon.
There are a few organizations you have the option of donating to, one of which is Music for Food. Music for Food is a musician-led initiative for local hunger relief. It was founded by Kim Kashkashyan in 2010 and has provided over 900,000 meals since its inception just 10 years ago. Even now, 13% of the U.S. population struggles with food insecurity. That's over 40 million people. Music for Food helps those in need by putting on concerts, and all proceeds from those concerts go straight to local food banks. Since we're in Los Angeles, you have the option of donating to the Midnight Mission, where meals will be provided to those living in Skid Row. Any and all donations make a difference and are appreciated so much.
On the special day of remembrance, um, everyone has their own personal way of connecting to their culture or history. Uh, for us as a family, we're very fortunate to be able to do that through uh, beautiful Armenian music. In fact, the first quartet we ever played as a family string quartet were these Komitas songs, uh, once Kara switched from the violin to the viola. Um, since then, we've gone on to explore music from all around the world, but there's always something special uh, about coming home and playing these pieces that are very dear to our hearts. Uh, we've played them many, many times through our, our lives, and it's always nice to come back and sit together as a family and play them in an intimate setting. Um, there's a beauty to all of these and uh, a sadness as well, but also that of hope. And so we really are looking forward to sharing these pieces with you today.
Well, our presentation is almost over. We have only one piece left to perform for you. And I know that today's occasion was somber, so you heard a lot of music that is not very happy. On the other hand, we wanted to finish with a note of optimism, and there's nothing that makes people happier than the birth of a child. Therefore, when I thought of our dear friend Artashes Kartalian, who is a wonderful composer here in Los Angeles, and to ask him to write a piece for us, it just coincided that in his wonderful family they had the birth of his very first granddaughter by the name Patil, just a few weeks ago. And I asked Artashes to write a lullaby for his granddaughter. And of course, I was so happy when he agreed to do that. You will be hearing and meeting Artashes by his video greeting right now. But I just wanted to thank everyone for watching and uh, enjoying, hopefully, our concert. Thank you. Hello, everyone, and thanks for tuning into the Armenian Genocide Commemoration Charity Concert by the Bohosian Manuelian family. You are welcome to make a contribution which will benefit a few wonderful organizations, including Lark Musical Society and the Diligent Chamber Music Series. As we enjoy this special presentation, let us remember that what helped Armenians survive the genocide was the courageous act of preserving the roots of our culture. Enrich your culture. That's exactly what Lark and Diligent are doing. LARC is providing a comprehensive musical education to students of all ages, devotedly teaching Western classical music with an emphasis on Armenian music, motivating students to meet the highest standards in scholarship and performance. LARC has also been showcasing choral, instrumental, operatic, orchestral events for the Los Angeles public throughout the years. 
performing pieces by master composers from Bach and Beethoven to Gomitas and Khachaturya. And I'm very proud to have been at the roots of Lark from the very beginning, alongside my wife Nuna, my son Ashot, and of course my dear friend, the founder of Lark Musical Society, Bache Barsumian. Meanwhile, the Diligent Chamber Music Series not only invites the best musicians from all over the world to perform well-known musical selections, but also commissions new works every season and has now presented more than 50 world premieres in the past 15 years. What an excellent way to enrich the culture. As every new life born is a blessing, so is the birth of new music into the world. The lullaby for my newborn granddaughter, Patil, is very personal to me, but I am happy to share this blessing with all of you today. Thank you. 